Hello everyone, myself Sajal Sasma, Assistant Professor of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department in Gator Company, College of Engineering and Management. I am going to introduce a topic modulation in analog communication. So at first we should know what is communication. Communication means exchange of information between two point entities to device. So there are a few terms we should know if we study communication. The first one is input transducer. By the help of the input transducer we can convert a signal into its another form. That means the input transducer as an example a microphone can convert the acoustic signal into its corresponding electrical signal and the transmitter is a device which sends the transmitter signals and transmission channels by the help of a transmission channel we will send the signals from source to destination and the example of transmission channels are open air microwave satellite link optical fiber cable etc receiver what is a receiver? Receiver means a receiver can uh, receive the transmitted signals and regenerate the signals. Regenerate the information signal. And what is the MAP output transducer? A output transducer will convert the electrical signal into its corresponding acoustic signal or its original form. Now we will see what is modulation. Modulation is a process that means the information signal, the frequency and the power is limited. So we can't transmit the information signals with, with a far distance. So we have to take a help of a high power and high frequency carrier signal to carry the information signal into a specific distance. So modulation is a process by which we can transmit a modulating signal by the help of a carrier signals. <coughs> there are two types of modulation techniques in continuous wave modulation. First one is amplitude modulation and next one is frequency modulation. So now we will see what is the baseband signal. Baseband signal is the information signal for the modulating signal. Here we will see the hello hello if we pronounce hello then the signal will generate in the time axis and here is a basic block diagram of a communication analog communication system as you see microphone is the example of your input transducer it will convert the acoustic signal into its corresponding electrical signals and in transmitter it will modulate with the carrier signals and we can transmit the uh, signal over the channel by help of the antenna and at the receiver we will receive the modulating signal and we demodulate it into its corresponding electrical form and then in output transducer we will convert the electrical signal into its original form. Now we will see a animation of a communication system. Here is the information source. Uh, it is in between 5 hertz to 20 kilohertz in our audible range. So it is the information signal. Mm, then by the help of a transducer, input transducer will convert the signal into its electrical form. And after that, uh, we will take a carrier signal and uh, for the modulation. And here is a amplitude modulation of the modulating signal with the carrier signal then we will transmit the signal over the channel and we will regenerate the signal here in the receiver there are three types of modulation technique in analog communication. The first one is amplitude modulation, next one is frequency modulation and phase modulation. In amplitude modulation, we will vary 
the amplitude of the carrier signal according to the modulating signals and in frequency modulation we will vary the frequency of the carrier signal according to the amplitude of the modulating signal and we will keep the peak amplitude of the carrier signal constant and in phase modulation we will vary the phase of the carrier signal according to the modulating signals amplitude. So there are the waveforms of amplitude modulation. In amplitude modulation, here is the carrier signal, its frequency is high, then the information signal or baseband signal, and here we can see the amplitude of the baseband signal is gradually increasing and decreasing, and according to that, the amplitude of the carrier signal is also changing according to the baseband signal, where the amplitude is higher here the modulated waveform amplitude is higher and it is the general equation of a amplitude modulation that means AC is the amplitude of the carrier signals and XT is the modulating signal and omega C is the issue frequency of the carrier signal and here we can see the amplitude will vary the amplitude will be very according to the modulating signal as because the carry signal amplitude is constant. In frequency modulation we can see where the amplitude of the basement signal is higher then the frequency is also higher and where the amplitude is low the frequency is also low and the general equation of a frequency modulation is a c sin omega c t plus m f sin omega n t m f is the modulation index of the frequency modulation omega c is the angular frequency of the carrier signal omega n is the angular frequency of the modulating signals uh, now we will see some of the uh, advantages and disadvantages of aim and FM. So aim is generation is so simple and simple circuit and for short range communication we use aim. But in aim the noise is high. So we can't generate the original signal at a certain level. Means we can't generate the original signal at a crucial level. But in FM the immunity to noise is very good so we can use it but the bandwidth is large than a so thank you